Hi, my name is Craig Cresson. I'm the Relieving Manager of the Apprenticeship and Traineeship Unit, which is part of Training Services New South Wales and the Department of Education. Um, we are responsible for administering apprenticeships and traineeships in New South Wales. What this means is that we uh, develop all the policy and processes around apprenticeships and traineeships. We approve apprenticeships and traineeships. We support apprenticeships and traineeships, which includes uh, mediation, dispute resolution, having a bit of a chat to apprentices and trainees, employers as necessary. Uh, we process any variations to apprenticeship and traineeship arrangements. And at the end of the day, we complete apprenticeships and traineeships and issue certificates of proficiency. Apprenticeships and traineeships have had a bit of a rough, uh, rough run lately. Um, first, we had uh, the drought in regional New South Wales. Um, then we had bushfires at the beginning of this year, and now we've got uh, COVID-19. What that's meant is that um, probably since around June last year, the number of, of apprentices and trainees that have been improved in New South Wales, that the employers have been taking on, um, those numbers have been re reducing. Um, the more significant reductions that we're, we're seeing have, have occurred since January. Uh, January, February and March, we've been seeing uh, a reduction in new apprenticeships and traineeships being taken on by employers of about uh, 20 to 30 percent. Uh, we're expecting April probably to be uh, a similar uh, similar situation. The goals of the um, apprenticeship and traineeship unit uh, in this current environment is to one, uh, still encourage employers and train uh, employers to take on apprentices and trainees. Um, some industries haven't been uh, negatively impacted by COVID-19. So what we'd like to see is that they uh, continue to take on apprentices and trainees. Um, some, in fact, some industries uh, are actually busier than they were uh, before all this happened. So uh, uh, we're hoping to see some increased numbers there and we'd encourage employers to um, keep employing and taking on apprentices and trainees. For those employers who are struggling because of COVID-19, uh, who have either had to close businesses or who have uh, had a significant downturn in business, um, what we're trying to do is support them with um, trying to maintain the apprentices and trainees that they've currently got. Um, so they're our main two objectives at the moment. So uh, we're trying to help. So keeping these goals in mind, what we've tried to do is um, with respect to new approvals, uh, we've tried to relax requirements around signing up new apprentices and trainees. We've tried to reduce red tape, make it easier, make it quicker. Uh, so it's one less thing that uh, businesses have to worry too much about. For those people, for those employers who are struggling um, to maintain uh, their existing apprentices and trainees, what we've done is we've uh, relaxed a lot of our policies and procedures um, to increase, with a view to increasing flexibility for employers at this time. Um, so a lot of those things that we've changed will allow you to make changes to how you employ uh, and manage apprentice, uh, your apprentices and trainees um, with a view to you and your apprentices and trainees working out how you can keep them employed, how you can keep them in their apprentices and trainees, uh, apprenticeships and traineeships. So we've relaxed things like you don't have to tell us um, if you're having to move uh, your apprentice or trainee from full-time to part-time. You don't have to tell us if for some reason you've had to um, temporarily suspend the uh, formal training uh, side of things. Um, you don't have to tell us if you're um, temporarily suspending um, your apprenticeship or traineeship. Um, if there's more significant changes or more permanent changes, then, you know, of course, we, we want you to tell us about those things. But if you're just making changes in consultation with your, your apprentice or trainee and it's all about helping you manage the, you know, the current circumstances that you're dealing with better, um, then we've relaxed the rules around those things. So in addition to the uh, policy and process changes that we've made to help, help employers, um, there's also a num number of other programs and, and services that the New South Wales government provides to assist employers, to encourage employers, to help employers uh, with the employment of uh, apprentices and trainees. These include fee-free apprenticeships and traineeships. Uh, fee-free apprenticeships came in on the 1st of July 2018 and under that program employers no longer have to pay the uh, $2,000 administrative administration fee. 
Uh, the other one that we in- actually introduced on the 1st of January this year uh, was fee-free traineeships. So same again, if you employ uh, a trainee from the 1st of um, January this year, you don't, or the trainee and or you don't have to pay the course cost for those. So for both apprenticeships and traineeships, everything is free uh, for both the learner and the employer. Um, Workers' Compensation Insurance Apprenticeship Incentive Scheme, that's the scheme that's available to assist employers employing apprentices um, and it reduces reduces what they're required to pay. Pay or tax rebate scheme, another scheme that, it, that um, allows employers to claim rebates for, um, uh, for you know, apprentices that they've, they've employed. And something else that, which isn't really apprenticeships and traineeships, but it is something significant that um, training services uh, does, is we provide uh, funded qualifi- part qualifications and full qualifications. So if at this time, um, you do have some uh, short-term in, you know, emerging training needs uh, that uh, you need to implement for your staff in order to meet um, some of the um, challenges that COVID-19 is uh, throwing up. Um, we also do help in that, that particular area as well. Now, it's not just uh, that we provide support for employers. We also provide support for apprentices and trainees uh, in this space. Uh, the fee-free apprenticeships and traineeships that I mentioned before, obviously um, fee-free apprenticeships, most of that uh, the employers are required to pay. Um, however, traineeships, uh, often the trainees were required to pay. So if the employer didn't uh, didn't meet those costs. So uh, no one pays now uh, for traineeships commencing after 1 January uh, this year. Uh, one of the changes that we've made in response to COVID-19 is we're allowing um, apprentices and trainees who have had their training arrangement cancelled to continue with their formal training uh, whilst they're looking for another employer. Uh, this is impl- important. It keeps them engaged um, in something uh, useful whilst they're looking for another employer. Uh, it demonstrates their commitment to their, their trade or their vocation uh, for prospective new employers, um, but it also... Um, means that when they do find another employer, uh, they're still they're ready to go, um, and there's been no gaps in their training. Uh, we also, the New South Wales government provides transport concessions for um, apprentices and trainees, particularly uh, with respect to Opal cards um, and transport in the, the metropolitan area. Obviously, that might not be a big issue at the moment, but um, it's another area of support that we provide. For those in rural New South Wales, we also have the travel accommodation and relocation assistance that's available. Um, that's where uh, apprentices and trainees can claim for travelling to um, training uh, where they may need to do some uh, you know, bulk training, you know, a week at a time, that sort of stuff. So that that's available. And for apprentices, we also, um, the New South Wales government also uh, provides a $100 rebate on car registrations for apprenticeships apprentices. So as you can see, um, we do provide a fair bit of support. Uh, we're trying to do better uh, at this time when uh, COVID-19 is on. And um, if you would like further information with respect to anything that I've covered today, I would uh, encourage you to go to our website, training dot new south wales dot gov dot au or call us on 13 28 11. Thank you.